welcome back. So today we're gonna to be just dipping our toes into the whole Nordstrom anniversary sale. So the sale hasn't started yet, but the preview is live. So if you want to see what to expect on the Nordstrom anniversary sale for 2024, you can definitely check it out right now. I'll go ahead and leave the link down below so you can see what's gonna be on sale and what's not. I also have here the a little handy dandy catalog, which they kind of did away with and then now they brought it back. So I actually appreciate it because I really like the um, looking at the catalog I mean, I'm just like a magazine type of person already. So just seeing this is like, I don't know, it just brings joy to my life. But I still go online and check out what's on sale. So I have not gone into a complete deep dive, I'll be honest, but I have kind of like perused some of the things and I've noticed that a lot of the things from previous years are on sale this year as well. There's always like an, uh, a variation of like a popular item from the past that always makes its like a debut during the Nordstrom anniversary sale. So if you don't know what the Nordstrom anniversary sale is, <laughs> first of all, let's do a drinking game. Like every time I say Nordstrom anniversary sale, you take a drink. Uh, don't do that. <laughs> a drink of water, I meant. A drink of water. Um, so the Nordstrom anniversary sale usually happens uh, mid to late-ish summer. What's great about the sale is that most sales are usually like past seasonal stuff but the Nordstrom anniversary sale will offer you like a lot of fall and winter new items that are going to be on sale so this is a great time if you are shopping for new boots this season new coats new jeans sweaters sneakers there's a ton of beauty items as well there's home there's kids there's men but if you're looking for like a certain item that you want to add to your closet for this year then this is a great time to do it i know that for me living in a very warm state i don't have that many boots but i did want a pair of tall boots and that is something that I actually got last year and I really love them and I cannot wait till it dips down into like the 50s which probably won't happen till like February or March but whenever it does like I break out the boots so again if you're trying to build that capsule wardrobe collection and start adding items into your closet that are like quality and uh, just really great materials this is a great time to do the sell now will these items be on sale ever again absolutely like you will find them a few weeks after the sale is already over after they've gone up into like its actual retail price you will usually see them on sale again but again there's like this hype over it that uh people you have to jump on it right now um or if it's like if you don't get it now like you'll never get it again and that's just not the case so i don't want you to stress over it again this is just a fun shopping experience i love sharing sales because <laughs> Who doesn't want to save money so if you're looking for some recommendations then just keep on watching so if you're asking how does the Nordstrom anniversary sale work well first you have to be a Nordstrom card holder so if you are a Nordstrom card holder you will be put into a certain tier depending on how much you have spent in the past year that will determine the tier that you are in obviously the more you spend the higher the tier the top tier that you are on and those are the members that actually get to shop the sell first. Now, what are the perks of that? Obviously, everything is available, so things are not out of stock. The lower tiers, sometimes it'll be a little bit harder to find items that have been popular with you know, other shoppers. So the top tier is called Icons, and they get to shop on July 9th. So that is the first day of the anniversary sale. And then Ambassadors get to shop July 10th. And then Influencers slash anybody else who has a card. So even if you have a card and you only spent a dollar at Nordstrom in the past year, you are still considered an influencer and you get to shop on July 11th. Then card holders get to shop all the way until the 14th and obviously until the sale ends. But then the sale is open to the public on July 15th, meaning even if you don't have a card, you are still able to take advantage of those sale prices. Even if you don't have the card, you will still get to shop the sale. Now, of course, the longer you wait, the more uh, probability that some of the items that you have had your eye on or that maybe are on your wish list might be out of stock. But a few tips that I have, and I have another video on how to shop this sale like a pro, which I will link it here if you want to check it out. It's a couple years old, but the tips, you know, are still like relevant for 
today. But one of the things I want you to remember is that a lot of the times, a lot of these um, icons or ambassadors or influencers, they will, you know, just purchase a bunch of stuff on their card. And usually before the sale ends, they will return a lot of items. We tend to see a lot of items either get restocked or return towards the end of the sale. So don't fret if like an item that you really had your eye on is not available. Just put it on your wish list, get that notification so that whenever the item is back in stock, you will be notified. That's one thing that I have noticed is that Nordstrom understands the frustration of the lower tiers and obviously the public who, you know, by the time it's time for them to buy, items are out of stock so i think they kind of do like limited releases throughout the sale so they'll send out a little bit of inventory here and then they'll replenish it like mid-sale so that way it gives like a, a better chance of other people purchasing items and not just you know the icons so, so again don't fret about it if it's not in stock the sale concludes on august 4th so at uh, august 5th all the prices go back up but i do want to kind of pinpoint some of the items that i feel like I've seen again and again, but they are well worth it. These are some items that I've personally purchased and used and I have repurchased and or I'm thinking of repurchasing. So I kind of wanted to highlight a little bit of my wish list. Okay, so to begin, I do suggest downloading the Nordstrom app. And also if you don't have an account like a Nordy Club, Nordy Club, like you don't have to have a card, you just like make an account online, like, you know, a profile. And you'll have the ability to actually start building your wish list. So I like to do this because the catalog and online can be very overwhelming. There's just a lot of stuff to look at. So what I like to do is just like start adding things into my wish list as I go. Like anything that catches my eye, just add it to my wish list. And then afterwards, I'll go back and edit. So if I've added like five different boots, like tall boots, then I'll go back into my wish list and take off the ones that like, you know, after you do your little research, like, okay, I like this color better. You know, I like the shaft circumference of this one is going to be better for me. So that's what I like to do. And then just like edit it down to something that's like within my budget and more reasonable. I mean, it's easy just to add everything, but I mean, you're not going to buy everything. So but one of the things that is catching my eyes is obviously a pair of boots. So I already have a few colors of tall boots and like I said like it does not get that cold here so uh, a shorter booty I think like a shorter sh um, shaft height is something that I might be looking into I am also looking into sneakers and just flat shoes that's really what I wear the most is flats so any type of mules um, actually I didn't see any mules that caught my eye but the slingbacks that are in right now I really love especially with like a like a straight jean. I just think it looks so cute and elevated and it's like casual, but still chic, you know? So I really like those styles. So there was a few that caught my eye. One of them being this one from Mark Fisher, the Daner pointed toe flat. I really liked the black patent leather one. I just feel like it easily can elevate a look, um, even if it's just like jeans and a t-shirt, but if you put some patent leather shoes on, like you instantly look a little bit more elevated. Another one that really caught my eye, even though it is a taller boot, is the Nordstrom Deffine Kitten Heel. Even though I already have black kitten heels from last year, for some reason these really like just they just caught my eye so uh i probably won't get them but they still caught my eye and then the other one that i like which is a little bit more of a western boot is from sarto uh by franco sarto is the jasmine block heel boot and i really liked this color this almost like caramelly uh what would you say like what, what color did they have it on here taupe <laughs> Try to come up with this name <laughs> it's dope okay so the taupe one they have a black one as well and then they also have it in a white uh which actually i have some shoes from last year let me show you so these are the pair of boots that i got last year i have yet to even wear them just because by the time i got them like i don't know like i don't really go anywhere so i have to find a place to go so i can wear my boots but i love these these are from mark fisher and these are one of the top sellers from last year and i snagged it because i just loved it i love the heel height is shorter i love the pointed toe 
Um, the shaft was just good. This is a very soft material as well. So um, really loved this boot in style. And so I'm very excited to style it for this fall and winter. But um, again, I don't need a white boot. I think something that is more like taupey or more of a brown would look good, especially because I already have this one. I have another one from Sam Edelman that I got like two year, two or three years ago um, at the Nordstrom sale. Uh, and it's more of a tan color. And then I also have my black boots. So something in brown I think would look good. I like this taupe one. It looks really pretty. Also, if you're into sneakers, uh, one of my favorite sneakers, which... I actually have a YouTube video and I'll link it here for you so you can check it out and it's all about New Balance. I am obsessed with New Balance. The shoes are just not only are they stylish but like they're so comfortable in my opinion like I just love them. I have the 237s, I have the 574s and then these are the 327s. So these are actually going to be on the sale not in this colorway but in the lighter color so it doesn't have the rust. It's like a different color but I Still, like highly recommend this shoe. I love how stylish it is. I love how comfortable it is. It's just like a really great pair of shoes. So if you're looking for sneakers, those are going to be available. There are also 574s that I saw on the list. Um, that's not something that is on my wish list, but if you like that style, um, you can definitely check that one out. And then another pair that I have here on my wish list is the Nike Air Max 90 Futura sneaker i just really love the color i think it's so like it's like my jam you know <laughs> like the neutrals and stuff so i really like this color and i'm kind of actually no i'm lying I'm, i was gonna say like i'm due for a sneaker i'm really not <laughs> um but i'm due for a nike okay not maybe not for a new balance but i'm due for a nike but i really liked this uh style and the colors and all of that so this is also on my wish list. Another thing I saw a lot of, and you're gonna see it because they even highlighted it here on the catalog, it's gonna be the collared sweater. So they have a Madewell, let me see if I can turn to the page. So they have it here, they have a few. They have Veronica Beard has one, Topshop has one, uh, Right and Bone, Nick and Zoe, and Vince. They also have one from Madewell, which is actually on my wish list because I love stripes and the stripes are just, love them so this one actually is more of like an ivory and it has it looks like it's a navy um stripes is this navy yeah it's navy so this one is going to be available um on sale i just think that this sweater is so so beautiful i also have another one on my wish list which is oh here we go it's from treasure and bond i love that brand because it's just really affordable so it's 40 dollars for this one. it's going to be on sale for 40 dollars and they have a bunch of different other colors right now it's saying that they are sold out like there is this brown otter color would be really pretty and i really like this blue fog as well i was actually thinking of the beige oatmeal in medium heather um, so that's actually on my wish list. So I'm assuming that they're going to restock them for the Nordstrom sale, but who knows? Another item that caught my eye for like a top was this Topshop V-neck sweater vest. I just really liked the look of this one. So they have three colors. I like the oat. There's also a gray and then there's also a pinky one, which is called sunrise. But the oat one, I just feel like you can get more use out of it. And I just really like the, the look of it. It's like a play on the vest, which is obviously hot right now. And it's been hot for, you know, the past two seasons. So this would be really cute um, for fall. As far as dresses, there's two dresses that caught my eye. One of them is actually from last year, which they're bringing it back this year. So that goes to tell you, like, obviously it was a bestseller. This one is also a top seller on my LTK. I had this on my Nordstrom lookbook. So I'm going to go ahead and leave a link down below so you can sign up for my newsletter because I will be sending out that lookbook to my newsletter subscribers. So don't forget to subscribe. I basically create, I don't know, like last year, I don't know if it was like 25 or 30 outfits. Uh, we're going to see if we can bump it up a little bit this year. I think you'll really love my lookbooks. So definitely sign up for that. But this French Connection long sleeve faux wrap sweater dress uh, was a hot seller last year. Again, it's just so beautiful. It looks very effortless. There is also one from Avec Les Filles. 
epiclis, I don't know how to pronounce that. It's a pleated long sleeve denim wrap mini dress. I think this one is so darling, especially with the boots. It looks so good. I love that very dark denim. It's a great way to like kind of dress it up, but still kind of keep it a little bit casual. But I love the pleats. I just think it's so beautiful. Um, it's going to be 33% off one about $130 but I'm excited to go in store and actually try this one on because I think this one is just really really pretty and again like even the fit and the material is something that you can wear season after season so if you look at my wish list a lot of this stuff is not very trendy it's more of obviously capsule wardrobe I mean that's probably why you're here on this channel because I share a lot of capsule wardrobe but I always look for things that are timeless and classic and that can you know, I can wear year after year and not it make me look dated. So really beautiful dress. I'm excited to kind of get a feel for it in store and like see how the material is, but really beautiful. I love, fell for that one. Moving on to denim. Denim is another like top, like hot seller during the Nordstrom anniversary sale. There's always those few pairs of uh, jeans that just like, they go like hotcakes, especially whenever like the icons shop, like they just take them all. Um, I don't think I've ever been lucky at getting a jean that I saw, you know, online prior to the sale, you know, whenever I go shop it, um, because I like to go in and actually try them on because, you know, different brands are just all over the place with the sizing. So I rather go in and actually try them on. And again, like I don't think I've ever been successful and got a pair of jeans that was on my wish list. But this one is currently on my wish list. It's from Rails, the Topanga High Waist Straight Leg Jean. A great casual jean. I love just how casual it is, straight leg. It's, uh, you know, like with the little hole. I just, it looks really cute. And the pricing is, while it's still on the higher end, it, it could be worse. I mean, it was $198. It's now like 133 during the sale. So, but I really like the look. I have a feeling this one is gonna be gone by the time I get there. Um, another one that's on sale that I saw online was from Madewell, the 90s straight uh, leg jean. This is also another really great fit. I really like it. So I, li I would want to go into the store and actually look at the wash. Um, I like the wash online, but you know, again, it could differ whenever you get in store. So if you um, are lucky enough to have like a Nordstrom where you live or you could access to one, I highly recommend going in and like really trying on the clothes and making sure that it feels good. It's not itchy. It like, you know, you're not flooding. I mean, there's just like so many things with sizing that, um, you know, come into play. And just to me, I'd rather just go in there. I mean, unless you want to take the extra effort of returning things and like having to reorder that, you know, it's just, I don't know. For, for me, if you have the chance, just go and try them on. Another thing I look forward to during the Nordstrom anniversary sale is Zella items. I love Zella because they have really good quality and they're not super expensive. So I saw a lot of Varley on the sale. And while yes, Varley is very nice uh, and elevated, it's a little bit more expensive. So I love Zella because like I said, I have these Zella live-in high waist leggings from like probably three or four years ago and they're still going strong. They're a little, you can tell they're a little worn out at this point because I wear them a lot, but that's the reason I want to grab another pair because they just are so good. They suck you in, they mold you, they just, you look good. So they actually have them on sale. Obviously Zella leggings are, they go like hotcakes during the Nordstrom anniversary sale, but they're, it's, it's for good reason. There's also the Zella plush ottoman shorts which I'm really digging like oversized shorts lately. I grabbed some from like Target um, like a couple months ago that I love. I have some from H&M which were super cheap but I wear them all the time because they're just oversized and they're just so comfortable especially for lounging around the house. So they have this one available as well. There is also a Zella long sleeve shirt. Um, I don't have it on my wish list but I, I'll obviously link everything that I'm sharing in this video down below but it was a, a long sleeve shirt that I really like to wear with leggings so if you're somebody who like wants to wear their leggings you know like on the weekend and but you want something that covers up a little bit I like it because it's very long and comfortable so I think free people also has a similar top but for a fraction of the cost I would say just get the Zella one uh, because it's just, it's just a t-shirt <laughs> so. Another thing is undergarments. So the Waco red carpet convertible strapless bra, I bought this already twice. I uh, I think it's 
my last one is still good I might get like a different color but this one is amazing I love it because it's like the only strapless bra that doesn't like end up down here <laughs> you're like you're not having to you know I mean depending on your chest size I, I can only speak for myself but I'm not having to you know adjust throughout the day so I really really love this one I actually see is there only one color the nudie color I would think they have other colors as well um, Okay. Oh yeah, they do. They no, that black one is not available on sale. Okay, so I don't know if it's just the nude one because I'm seeing a black one, uh, and that one is not on sale. So I'm assuming it might just be the nude one. There is another one that I love. I'm really into just like effortless broadlets. Like they're just so comfortable to wear, and I also love them because they don't give you the bulging here in the back. So like if you're wearing a t-shirt. It just like skims your back and so you don't have like the bulging but this one from true and co it's the true body triangle convertible strap bralette i have it in the desert and i'm thinking of getting it in the black or in the white but i actually need to replenish my desert one because i wear it so many times but this one's just so comfortable again very effortless you just wear it under t-shirts it looks so good um so this one is definitely another that i would recommend i also suggest pjs they have the moonlight pjs uh from nordstrom available i have them in the short sleeve with the shorts and i have it in long sleeve with the pants and i interchange them throughout and so i just love it because it's they're so comfortable they're airy they're stretchy um they're just a great pair of pjs and at a very good affordable price so if you're in uh, the market for PJs, I highly recommend that. I feel like when this sale color rolls around, instead of like really going for, I'll get some fashion stuff, but I really like to get things that I don't normally get. So it'd be like bras and panties and like PJs. But um, yeah, other than that, I mean, there are some stuff, nothing that was like really coming out at me, but the items that I shared are really the ones that just like really spoke to me like I was like that is something I would definitely want and wear again and again like I said there are some items that I wear all the time definitely Zella items I wear all the time my sneakers I wear all the time another thing to consider is also a bunch of bundles for beauty so in the beauty department there are going to be a bunch of like packages or um what am I trying to say like little bundles and one that I want to share with you actually this is the Chabula Extreme cream and this stuff is so hydrating and I can just like smell it all day long because it smells amazing but again a little bit goes a long way you just put it all over your skin and then I top it off with the oil and it just leaves my skin looking beautiful so again you get $222 value including the carrying case uh, for $99 during the North anniversary sale so Definitely don't sleep on this deal. If you've ever wanted to try True Botanicals, I think it'd be great um, for you to get this little package from them. So another thing to look into if you're a big into hair care and like just doing your hair, I guess, is T3. I'm big. Another one I'm a big fan of is T3. They have the Featherweight Style Max dryer with the different head attachments. That is going to be on sale. Also, the Airbrush Blow Dry Brush, which is actually what I use today to uh, blow dry my hair that is going to be available and then also the single pass curl one and a quarter ceramic long barrel so i don't know if that's the one i have actually no i have the 1.5 inch um, but i love it because it doesn't like singe my hair it keeps my hair still like very healthy but it keeps my curl for a very long time so i sometimes like sleep in my curls and then like the next day even though they'll be a little more weighed down but like you still have the shape so i really love t3 products for that so not all the t3 products are going to be available but there are some highly suggest the airbrush blow dry the blow dry brush because it's just so easy like if you have used the Revlon brush, uh, which I'm a big fan of, but I actually prefer the T3 version because it doesn't get as hot as the Revlon one. So if you wanna see a Revlon uh, tutorial, I'll leave a link here for that video as well. But again, if you are like on the fence, like which one do I need to get? I definitely suggest the T3 um, airbrush brush. Airbrush brush. Um, because it's, it's that good. 
Anyways, well there you have it. Those are some of my recommendations for the Nordstrom anniversary sale. A little bit, a little peek into my Nordstrom wish list. Don't forget to again subscribe to my channel. I'll be sharing more Nordstrom anniversary sale details as the sale goes on, including an in-store try-on. And comment down below what is something that you have purchased at the Nordstrom sale that to this day you still use. I'd love to know your recommendations, and so maybe I can take a look at them. Anyways, I hope y'all have a great day. Thank you so much for watching and watch that soon. Bye.